Okay, so this is uh, my first video of this kind. Uh, may well be my last, but uh, here we go anyway. Um, it's a quick run through of um, some of the features on this uh, Marzocchi 888CR uh, 2014 model. Um, big changes for next year's model. Um, the 888 is being retired and superseded by the 380. Um, there is still the CR model available, um, but it looks pretty different to this one. Uh, different stanchions uh, and so on. Well worth checking out. It looks, uh, looks pretty cool for next year. This one, however, um, coming to the end of 2014, uh, I managed to pick up at a pretty good price. Um, I hope this gives you a bit of a run through um, of some of the uh, features of the fork and what to expect. Um, I didn't find too much uh, in the way of uh, walkthroughs or unboxings of this particular fork. Um, so I thought I would do that and I hope it's of some use to uh, any of you out there uh, looking to purchase this fork. Um, I managed to pick it up at a pretty good price, um, about £200 uh, sterling uh, off the retail value. Um, I'm not sure what your local market uh, currency will be, but you get some pretty good deals towards the, uh, the autumn uh, in uh, the mountain bike world. So uh, I jumped on the chance to go for this upgrade. So in essence, what we have here, as I said, is the 2014 Marzocchi 888CR. Um, this is uh, somewhat of a mid-range fork. Uh, it's a big improvement on what I previously had. Um, a pretty knackered pair of uh, Marzocchi Junior Ts from about a million years ago. Um, so I'm looking at a pretty decent uh, upgrade for the next uh, uh, couple of seasons, uh, certainly, uh, if not longer. Um, so we're looking here at a, at a pretty different beast. Um, it's a mid-range fork, as I mentioned. Um, the CR um, donation stands for Compression and Rebound. Uh, they're the two main adjustments on this fork. Uh, it's Bigger Brother from the same year. Um, the RC3 um, has some other uh, adjustments, high speed and low speed compression. Um, this has a pretty standard um, set of uh, settings, three main ones, uh, the compression, uh, the rebound adjuster. Uh, you can see at the bottom there, uh, it gives you a few clicks to control the speed of rebound. Um, it's a steel spring fork um, with a single preload um, on the top of the fork there, the uh, on the rider's left, um, the grey dial there. Coming over to the right, you have the compression stack. Um, hopefully you can make that out. Really nice gold stanchions on this model of fork. Um, next year's model, the 2015 model, um, in fact, is superseded by the 380 range, um, and that has the Marzocchi uh, espresso coating, as they call it, which is a sort of dark brown. Um, I'm a big fan of this gold. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's supposed to be very low stiction and work pretty well in, in all conditions. So um, one and one eighth steerer tube. Um, this is in the non tapered, of course. Um, so it's going to be compatible with my setup. Um, 20 mil on the uh, on the the bottom for the wheel. Uh, pretty standard these days. Uh, the rotor mounts. You can see the post mount there. Um, I'm fitting a, a set of hopes on the front of this. Um, the technical documentation states that it will take up to. Uh, I think a 229 millimeter rotor, which is a huge dinner plate uh, rotor. Um, I'm sticking to a 203 on the front, so that should work pretty well. Um, I'm awaiting a new wheel, so hence you're you're watching this in the box uh, and not on the bike yet. Um, hopefully I'll do a return video um, after I've had a chance to ride the thing and give you guys an idea of what uh, what this class of fork is like. Um, so a really basic overview, um, the tech specs are available online, um, of course, uh, as ever. Uh, I didn't see a whole lot of information about this fork um, online, certainly no YouTube videos of it. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be of any use to you, but uh, I hope it uh, makes 
some impression. Uh, if there's any questions you guys have, since I now own the fort, you can give me a shout and I'll do my best to uh, answer. A uh, couple of quick uh, specs. The weight is listed at uh, just over three and a half kilos. Um, again, one and one eighth uh, steerer tube there, steel steerer tube. Um, it comes, of course, uncut, uh, as is the, the way of most modern forks. So um, there's that. The stanchions themselves, the uh, gold uh, beauties here, these are 38 millimeters. Um, so a lot of lateral stiffness, um, pretty, pretty beefy. Uh, they should certainly cope with my, um, my efforts uh, with no problems at all. Um, it's a steel spring inside, uh, compression cartridge on the uh, on the right, steel spring uh, with the preload adjustment on the left. Um, yeah, it has the dynamic bleed cartridge, the DBC, um, which uh, Marzocchi uh, patented. Uh, I won't pretend to explain or tell you that I'm an expert on uh, suspension fork internals, but uh, I believe I'm read, uh, reading that it uh, gives you the advantage of the open bath um, lubrication system in the compression uh, stack um, and combines that with the weight of, of a cartridge system. So um, it's a compromised system, but um, Marzocchi forks are well known for being super plush out of the box. Uh, I don't expect this to be any different. So a uh, little fork. Um, Hose guide there, uh, sticking on the front, a little bit ugly looking, but it's there. It's going to be useful once the thing's built up. Uh, everything, the fit and finish, seems really, really nice uh, on this fork so far. Uh, this is a, a sort of satin matte uh, coating on the bottom. Um, some pretty, pretty garish uh, gold graphics there. Um, Marzocchi, um, pretty bold with their uh, graphics there. I'm not a huge fan of that, but... Um, it certainly stands out, so can't really complain about that too much. Um, the box itself um, only comes with the Starfangle nut, which is somewhere up here uh, in a little box. I'm using uh, a threaded nut that goes through the steerer, uh, a sort of preload headlock system. Uh, so I'm not going to be tapping the nut into the, uh, into the steerer myself. Um, that can be a bit of a pain, um, so I'm using a slightly heavier system, but it allows a bit more flexibility, especially when you're taking the fork off or, or even reselling it. Um, you don't have to leave a, a star fangled nut uh, down in the steerer there. Um, not much more to say about this. Uh, this has probably been way longer than it should have been. Um, but I hope it's of some use to you guys. Uh, if there's any questions about the fork, um, just uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I will catch up soon.